Hello people, my name is Mark. Welcome to my channel. I have to start off this adventure just a little bit differently than I normally would. Uh, for somehow I have deleted or lost all the video files from the first day of this uh, adventure, this excursion. And uh, so things are a little bit different. Uh, this is a five-day adventure up to the mountains of uh, high in Utah uh, with uh, my YouTube friends, The Adventure Closet, Liz and Charlie. And uh, I'll put some more information about what was lost towards the end of the video in another time-lapse lap sequence. So enjoy the show. Thanks for watching. All right, today is Sunday, August 14th, and I'm camped up in the mountains of Utah. It's dark outside. It's about uh, quarter to six in the morning. Gypsy down here. This is a little gypsy down here. Uh, fired up the stove, got some water going for coffee. Uh, got the uh, vent fan <coughs> plugged into the Blue Eddy. Just going real slow, just the lowest setting. Pull out the fumes and whatnot. It's a little bit uh, condensation in here. It's kind of chilly outside. It says 54 in here. It's before I turned on the heat, it was 53 or 52 or something like that. Pulled out the heavier sleeping bag because it was slightly chilly last night. It's been raining a lot. Uh, you know, so I got here yesterday. It must have been 1 o'clock or something like that. And uh, set up the time lapse and did a little bit of filming here and there, but not much at all and uh just kind of kicked back and drank a few beers and uh had a fire and just uh enjoyed the evening without having to worry about uh, turning on cameras and stuff but today is a new day so here we are this is camp lapidary A bit rainy this morning. It's been rainy since I got here.
So it's about 8.30 in the morning. Liz and Charlie have been up for a little while over there getting their coffee and maybe some breakfast. Been working on getting this machine put together. Just need to put my drain bucket down here. These drain hoses connected and uh, guess find a place to put the generator. So on and so forth. What way would be what's a good angle for you? It doesn't matter. Okay. I make shit content, so it doesn't matter. I'm Mark, and I'm uh, my the, my channel name is Camp Lapidary, and we're all just hanging out today. Yeah, this is a rig. Come along with us. Yeah, let's take some cool stuff. I'm gonna do a shot of you guys moving along. to it and uh, uh, started filming it and it, it like turned and looked at us and then it snorted and it started charging us. Wow. <laughs> it was pretty cool. Like a wildlife. <laughs> Don't feed the bears. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. So the hounding over there. Hoopers in the background. Okay. 
just sit. Upwards. Yeah. Uh, so you, it's this giant, colorful uh, orange and yellow um, mushroom, and uh, it's got the texture of chicken. Huh. It tastes a little bit like chicken, too. At least what we remember chicken to taste like. <laughs> when was the last time you had chicken? Uh, probably 15 years. That's a long time. Look at this one. Ooh, that's a big one. You know, it, it might be a bullet. Especially seeing how big that other one was. They're slimy. Mm -hmm. oh. Well, that's our edible. Gypsy's sniffing it. She's like, yeah, that's not too bad. Are you a wet dog, Poops? Are you a wet dog? Hi, oh, boys. <laughs> It's muddy, but I think there's something halfway decent in there. And there's a piece of that that you just picked up. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. That's cool. Oh. Whoops. <laughs> I was trying to show you that one. I didn't know we were swapping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one is cool. I don't want it, if you want it. Nope. Get out into you. Little tree frog. Oh, he's jumping. He's jumping. I was wondering if we'd see a frog. for sure but I think it's fireweed it's pretty yeah what you doing puts wet dog tons of that stuff all over Washington
What you doing, Poots? You sure are wet. How'd you get so wet? Hey, you're pretty fast. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Did you having fun? Just being happy and singing. Yeah. <laughs> that that would be something interesting, huh? Yeah. I'm sure they make them, but they're probably a pretty penny. All right, here we are at the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, so I said I would talk about what I lost as far as uh, video recordings, you know. So usually I would start off a, a, a trip by standing next to the truck and trailer and showing you and, and uh, what's in the truck and how the trailer's packed up and, and uh, where we're going and why we're going there. So all that got lost. Uh, normally I would uh, show quite a bit of uh, time lapse to the location of where we're going to go camping. And uh, seeing how this was the first time that I had out the trailer, uh, it was, uh, you know, a learning experience. And so I, I've talked quite a bit on the way up there uh, just you know, about the truck and the trailer, and that's all gone. Uh, I, you know, when I arrived uh, to the camp where Charlie and Liz were, uh, you know, he had sent me some really good directions, and I never made any wrong turns, but there was quite a bit of dirt road driving, and, uh, you know, I recorded quite a bit of things on the dirt road, and that's that's all gone too. Um, you know, when I got there, uh, Charlie put his drone up in the air and uh, it pretty much got stuck in a tree right away. And I, I did watch his video there, uh, Charlie and Liz's video, uh, and they showed quite a bit of that stuff uh, from when I arrived. So at least at least there is some documentation of all of that that you can check out on their uh 
YouTube videos. Um, in addition, the setting up of my trailer and the campsite in general, uh, unloading the truck, all of that was uh, part of what was lost. Um, you know, when I got up there, it was raining a lot. And uh, it was quite muddy, and, and Gypsy uh, doesn't like rain and thunder and stuff. So uh, Charlie and I and Liz, we all were talking quite a bit, and Gypsy just wanted to keep climbing into their lap and uh, got them all muddy. And they were just super accommodating and, and like, don't worry about it, Mark. It, we understand. And that was really cool of them to uh, not be offended that the dog is climbing on them and getting them dirty and, and muddy. Um, so, you know, not that I had a lot of filming of, of those situations, but that was just something that happened that I remembered. And I kind of wrote down these things. Uh, so, you know, we had a nice fire that night and I drank quite a few beers. I think I had four beers that night, uh, which is probably two more than I ever usually have anymore. Um, and so, you know, we were up there for five days and, and the first day was, uh, Saturday, August 13th. And that's the day that I lost all the footage from. And, uh, we're starting off, of course, uh, this video is, uh, August 14th, Sunday, and it really only covers about half the day. So there's more videos coming. I know, uh, Liz and Charlie got theirs done in one. But uh, I won't be able to do that. I, I anticipate at least four videos uh, in order to tell my story. And they won't be as good as Liz and Charlie, so uh, don't don't get your hopes up too much. And, and I uh, thank all the new subscribers that are coming over from Liz and Charlie's channel. Uh, I do appreciate it. And um, seems like there was something else I wanted to say. Oh, uh... I, I'm not a, a rock expert. I mean, I've been cutting cabs for five or six years now. I, I know a bit about lapidary materials and common uh, names of rocks and stuff like that. But when it comes to geology stuff, I, I don't know anything more than most people. Um, certainly not an expert. I just watched uh, Liz and Charlie's video and they're like, oh, it's nice to have an expert. Uh, I am not an expert. But anyway, that's the end of the show. And uh, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.